Great. Sorry, I'm just getting my uh, AirPods here. It's okay. Um, um, do you have a few so, minutes? Is now okay? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Um, well, let me just give you a really quick rundown. I don't want to take too much of your time, but like you may have seen in my email, um, I'm building a new uh, social platform, an app, mm -hmm. centered around making it really easy for, for um, close friends to, to meet up in person. And that's the... The social side of the app is like getting people off of Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and allowing them to spend more time in person with their friends. Um, on the back half of things, which is where you and, and Blue Mango come into play, is um, we, we would like to offer rewards and perks uh, as incentives to, to get friends to um, go out more and be in person more. and. Uh, have so it's, activities. It's kind of like uh, when you go at like a certain spot, it's more like a spam, and then you like accumulate like those points to like um, exchange for like some kind of rewards. Right? Yeah, exactly. We're we're okay. like we're gonna have a lot of um, members, and again, we're kind of talking about small scale testing on on Williams campus, but we're gonna have a lot of members, and essentially, what we're able to do is create like a loyalty program for our merchants. And um, what's really exciting is Dunbar members can't redeem a reward that you might be offering unless at least two of them show up in person. So, oh, okay. so as a merchant, you are getting at least two people in the door, right? Because, I mean, one person coming in... Uh, mm -hmm doesn't mean they're actually with a friend in person so, physically. So is this like, um, are you doing this only on the Williams College campus or like it's like, where like is your headquarter located? Yeah, so I'm in Chicago. Um, oh, okay. the, the reason, the reason we're, we're talking about Williams is because I know a couple students there um, that, that could be really key in, in terms of testing our early product. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that you all and your campus is relatively open. COVID testing has been great, it sounds like. Um, and you've got Spring Street. So Williams is almost like the, the, the poster child of, of a Dunbar campus. Okay. So that's that's why we're going there first. Um, so, so why, yeah. wait, um, isn't that like kind of like uh, similar things? Like, because like that's like so many ways like people can meet already like people can still see each other but um like how like so like how are you gonna do like your point system to like you know like make people want to use like Dunbar? definitely um so a couple of things the the main action that makes us different that that our our that students on campus will use is this idea of basically like location chatting. So let's say, again, we're talking like users right now. Let's say you and I are friends on Dunbar. Um, what we do really differently and, and really well is when I'm ready to hang out, I can ping you my location on campus along with maybe what I'd like to do. And if you're also available to hang out, you can kind of enter that map and ping your location back to me. And but that's the same thing as texting your friend as well. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> completely, which is, uh, why kind of our, our way of redeeming rewards is different. And we're, we're, um, playing in on this kind of group buy model, which you've, I don't know if you've used like Groupon or I know. No, Snack no, we, we don't, we, yeah, we don't yeah. use anything. Yeah. Well, so. Um, but no, we, we, we recognize that. Um, but if, if we talk about the rewards, um, Essentially, the, what what we really want to focus on is is the type of rewards you might be offering. Where um, we don't want Dunbar members to meet up and go to Blue Mango and cash out on something for free. Um, that's pretty useless for us. It's certainly useless for you, uh, mm -hmm. or more or less. So instead, what we what we want to focus on is um, this idea of add on items or in kind rewards. So Maybe it's buy one, get one free coffee if you bring a friend. Okay. Or buy one, get one tea if you bring five friends, right? Yeah. Um, so that there's an incentive for our members to spend when they go out. Um, 
uh, and, and meet at your place. Does that kind so of make sense? So is it like kind of like a one hump thing, or like can you accumulate the point? So for right now, it's just kind of one off things. So okay. maybe your business is really slow from two to four p.m. And you're like, hey, mm-hmm. we want to turn on buy one get one free coffees with Dunbar, um, so that you can see an influx of of friends coming in. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's not quite a point system for now where they're actually earning points for hanging with friends, mm-hmm. but rather, uh, our rewards like are, some, it's, it's yeah. something for them to do, right? And something that's in person and physical and, uh, something that close friends would do. It's a good reason mm-hmm. for them to be able to ping a friend and say, Hey, let's yeah. go hang out because Blue Mango's, uh, giving us coffee or an oh. item. Yep. So with like every business I know like does is like incentives. So what are you guys getting out of this? For now, nothing. Um, (laughs) You know, we don't want anything. This is, Uh this would be some of our first tests. So the information is all we need. Um, And And, um, yeah, yeah, I also have another question. What about like other places on Spring Street? Like what, um, because I also want to get ideas from other places, like what they are offering as well. So we have an idea of, what everybody is offering. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, look, I, I told you I really want to work with one merchant really closely. Um, if that's you all to help with our testing, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I could see down the line. So so to, to clear that up, this is not rolling out to all of Spring Street day one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it would be like a let's work together exclusively so we can just get a sense of like you said um is this no better than iMessage on on uh uh iPhone or you know are are we just reinventing snap snapchat maps you know so um that's why you know we're not asking for anything we're just trying to figure out if if this need is actually there um so if we did end up working together it'd be an exclusive thing at least for the beginning um, but yeah, it could, I could see it starting to drive a lot of competition between merchants on Spring Street, which is something we'd have to either lean into or, mm-hmm. um, address down the line. So, um, so the thing is with this, I still have to talk with, um, order of owners first before making any decisions. So. Definitely. So yeah. h- how, uh, Mook, um, are you, you're not an owner? I am. I'm okay. the owner and manager, but it's like a family run. Awesome. So I still like, even then, I still need to talk to my of parents, course. <laughs> which is like the higher ups. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, so, I mean, take some of this info. Um, okay. Note that, again, you don't, we're, we're not charging for the service. We don't mm-hmm. even know what we would, what it what it's valued at. Um, yeah. we, we really, you know, we're looking to work with a couple small groups of friends, and if it grows organically, great. If it doesn't, then we know we need to iterate and fix our product. So it would be really, I, you know, I sound like a, a salesperson, but I can't think of well, a technically, technically you are. You're I know, salesperson, I know. I'm so. just, what I was about to say is there's not a whole lot of downside um, for, for you all if, if you're willing to help. Yeah. Um, we would just figure out, you know, what's the best kind of reward to offer and, and when. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, like, I, I don't know, like, what kind of good rewards it, like, you know, for, like, students right, would right. be. One and I, also, like, yeah. with the accumulating points, like, maybe, like, in the future, it would be better with the accumulating points because I feel like a, like, you know, is this, like, buy one, get one, like, key? Is it, like, you know, is it really that, like, you know, like, would people really come, mm, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. So you're kind of saying, like, maybe if they got points for hanging out in person with their friends to redeem with, with our partners. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is like, uh, we don't know how, like, you know, like how much point is good for like redeem, redeeming like a certain thing. Definitely. So, yeah. Definitely. Do you, um, do you have or use any kind of loyalty programs right now? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, right now we just like, uh, working with the college. So they would come in, um, like get, they would make that one coupons, of course, and then come in, like, student would redeem that, and right. then, like, they come in and pay later. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, like, with bubble tea as well, they would have, like, bubble tea's coupon, and they come right. in and redeem that. Are there, uh, last question, um, are there, like, 
So something that works really well, like let's say we're talking about Chipotle, but we don't want to work with big chains. Um, <laughs> that's, that's not that's not our goal. But something that works really well is like add-on items, like free guac, for instance. You know, it's like two dollars ish at cost. Okay. It's you know what, probably ten ten cents, fifty cents to you all. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can't walk out of Chipotle with just free guac. You know, it has to be added on. So I'm curious if like there's an add-on item that you upcharge for with bubble tea or um... there's like no really like an add-on item so that's why (laughs) so that's why like it's kind of hard for me like to think of anything except like you know like the buy one get one things that you mentioned but um yeah other than that like um i mean like in like in case of bubble tea of course like it's probably definitely like kids will definitely come Mm -hmm. with like the bubble tea but but those um, are five dollars right yeah okay and honestly i think for us like five dollars for like 20 ounce is like a pretty good deal already yeah. if you think about like in chinatown in boston like i know they like up the price to like eight dollars like can for like 16 ounce I, can i ask just for me like yeah. what is that five dollars at cost for you if you had to guess honestly about like four dollars really yeah no because like okay we get like um our um thing like from so like okay they have like it's from taiwan right the um the bubble tea that we use okay. it's like uh, the brand produced like from taiwan made from taiwan okay and um then they ship it to um, i know they're based in california we ordered from them but they also have like a warehouse in texas as well okay so they ship it from there and the shipping price sometimes like come up to like three hundred dollars or something because Whoa. of the weight they they like the weight itself so it's like almost like oh. um the the shipping is almost like up to like um whatever we're paying i'm so, sure wow okay so yeah that's great like so know. like all, almost like four dollars so really honestly like we're not getting much it's more like attraction to get like customer coming in yeah okay Do and you... that is that is probably like the four dollar probably includes like the plastic straw and yeah wow okay yeah. um two more things what do you think coffee is at cost oh okay like our coffee is like Thai iced coffee Thai iced tea is like um doesn't cost like it like it doesn't cost that much like okay. probably like around one dollar okay we're selling it for like 350 right now right okay so, so there's better margins we, there yeah okay another thing we've thought about is okay let's if we look at the, the bubble tea with um not great margins for you all Something we've considered is like maybe we can at Dunbar um, digitize the the loyalty card, the punch card. So maybe you know if two friends like, like come like you know like you know, eight times and then you get yeah. a free uh, bubble yeah, tea. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So yeah. two Dunbar friends, if they check in ten times, we're keeping track of those punches on a on a digital punch card. So so you then, do have those kind of like things. That's like, what we're, yeah. we're, I mean, we're still trying to figure out, like, what works best, but okay. based on what you're saying about, like, the price and margins of your bubble tea, I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe a punch card, um, is better for you in terms of, uh, yeah. uh, money coming in, so, okay. Also, like, somehow maybe it cannot sell the bubble itself, we have to throw it out as well, so, ah, okay. so yeah. <laughs> That's another thing we've thought about is maybe restaurants especially like bakeries and stuff that need to throw stuff out at the end of the day. If yeah. they could just flip on like a flash sale with Dunbar mm-hmm. for groups of friends coming in. Yeah, but um, if you do that like every night, then kids would know and they would not order in the, during the day and then come to us at night as well. That's, yeah, that's the catch-22. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mook. But, um, <laughs> no, this is a really good like talking to you though because there's like a lot of ideas going. But I definitely want to like talk over uh, with everybody first. Yeah, but, please. Um, yeah, like I feel like if you do it like more than one place, I think it would be good as well like you know i know it's gonna add like competition but like everybody on spring street they sell different things right right it's not the same thing so even if you say it's competition it's not really much of a competition though, right well because and, everybody have it and you, you know frankly like that that's another reason we chose williams is like there's a coffee shop there's a taco place there's you yeah. all there's indian food um it would still be great to work with one person closely tweak some things over like a week or two and have uh-huh. the other restaurants on Spring Street see, oh, okay, um, this is working. They are actually having people come through through Dunbar. Um, okay. Our goal is to get, you know, there's a stat that 
90% of, of Williams students eat out once per week. Our yes. goal is to make that three or four or five. And mm -hmm. uh, I think all the restaurants can benefit ultimately from, from Yeah, so that. I don't know if this helped you, but like I know like um, a lot of kids, like the kids I see, they come like three times a week. Okay, awesome. Like for like the, but mostly Asian kids because like, um, <laughs> I, I went to college in America as well, so uh -huh. I know, like, I cannot do cafeteria food, like, at, like every day in the cafeteria. <laughs> yeah. So, and I need rice, so that's yeah. why I go out and eat a lot, too, as well. So I understand that. So, um, because of that, I feel like because of the diversity in Adelaide's college, a lot of kids miss, like, that home, like, you know, food. food. Not just, like, Asians, right. like, you know, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Totally. So yeah, so like most most kids, like even like non Asian kids, still like come out and eat like at least like two times a week. Yeah. And especially if there's like a good reward programs, they'll come we out can more. Double it. Well. Sure, sure. Um, okay, great, Mook. I will keep you in the loop. I will as we're kind of finalizing our our design for now. I want to uh -huh. send that to you and just get your opinion on things. You sound, uh, in a lot of ways, a whole lot smarter than me. So. Um, I will I will definitely be in touch and you know talk to whoever see if they're interested and maybe we can kick this off together okay uh, right now my phone doesn't work too well I don't know what just happened to my phone um, I'm just using somebody else's phone right now oh okay but, um, just email me okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> will do okay Mook alright thank you and then I'll like contact you as soon as like get like you know like the idea of what they want to do perfect as well. no that sounds great okay all right, Thank all right, thanks. Welcome, bye-bye. Wow. Mook was fast, had me on my game. That was fun. Blue Mango, let's stay in touch.